Never apply any hitting device to an area that has been bruised or recently scarred in any way. This will only increase the pain and inhibit the healing process. Also avoid hitting any sores or open wounds that can become infected or bleed as a result of this practice. If you have psychological or physical illnesses or any sexually related problems, consult a doctor or psychologist before attempting this practice. If the microcosmic orbit has not been opened, you cannot experience hitting safely. To avoid severe discomfort and possible damage to your system, be certain that you have a clear flow of internal energy. Always use a hitting technique with the wire device or the long bean bag immediately after the sexual energy massage or chi weightlifting. This is required to help the body assimilate the energy before too much of it rushes to the head with potentially dangerous results. Always try to relax the upper part of the body while practicing. If there is tension in the muscles of the chest, the heart and lungs may become congested with qi and overheat. If any difficulties occur, such as chest pain, reduce or stop your practice until you are comfortable. Although the sacrum is lightly tapped in detoxifying, do not in any way hit the spinal cord. When hitting around the neck or the head, clench your teeth and place your tongue up against the roof of your mouth to avoid damaging your teeth or biting your tongue. Do not practice hitting on a full stomach and do not eat immediately after hitting. Wait at least two hours after a moderate meal before practicing. Also, it is best to empty the bladder and bowels before a practice session. Otherwise, large amounts of chi may be passed out of the body. It is important to remember not to take a shower or bath for at least an hour after you have practiced hitting, especially if you sweat. Water can wash away external energy, thereby reducing some of the energy you are trying to store. Shower before practicing. Even if you are in good health, if you feel just a little out of sorts or weak, do not practice hitting or any exercise that requires hitting. If you decide to practice at such times, hit only your arms, legs, and back very lightly. Wait at least a day or two or until you again feel alert and vigorous before striking areas where the impact might reach vital organs. Make sure that you get sufficient rest after hitting. The detoxification may exhaust you. Drink plenty of pure water to help the cleansing process. Burp freely during practice. Your body will feel the need to eliminate the trapped toxins and gases that are released from within is extremely important. If you just do the weightlifting, the emotions can be terribly overpowering. And the beating just settles everything down, it cools, and then the meditation is the final thing where you're bringing the energy right into the bones and everything else. The other thing is um, that I became very conscious of my bone structure, which for anyone else looking at me wouldn't be difficult. <laughs> but I really saw myself as you know, bones full of light. About three weeks ago, I had a ladies' tea party, and I had been doing um, a practice the day before with a student who comes once a week. We always do the beating practice. And I had left my beater on the living room on a chair, and these ladies all came in, and we were having, you know, with the Wedgwood china and everything. <laughs> and they came into the living room, and there was the beater, and they said, what's this for? And I said, oh, that's, uh, you know, for beating. And they sort of recoiled in horror. So then I gave them a, a short demonstration of how it was. And it was interesting how their attitude changed very, very quickly when they saw how my attitude was about it, that I didn't, I mean, I could laugh about it, but on the other hand, I could be really sincere. We do a lot of conditioning in martial arts, and energy pathways are not talked about, just the physical conditioning aspects. And I found that after you condition your body, you start to feel very heavy. You develop the physical conditioning, the toughening of the muscle, the bone, and what have you. But somehow the body becomes very heavy. Since studying with Master Cheater and, its, and his conditioning methods, I have found that not only can I become conditioned, but also I don't feel as heavy because I know how to circulate energy to which I build up in my body, which I think is very important because otherwise <laughs> Uh, martial artists become very, can I say, hot-headed because they build up so much energy and they become very fire-headed because they have no way of transferring or transforming the energy in the body. Um, another health benefit I found from the beating with the wire particularly, that has been one of my regular practices. And what I have found is that, particularly in the abdominal area, is that it has tremendously balanced my digestive system and regulate my metabolism.
Um, what I mean by that is, for example, prior to these practices and hitting, I used to have chronic consultation periodically. As a result of the wire hitting around the abdominal area, that has removed the consultation that I have been experienced. The theory of the hitting is you start to have a vibration go into the organ, which will give you a will you give you a, a vibration into the organ and get you a the first thing is we have two kinds of hitting. One kind of hitting is try to give you detoxify the organ. So we don't pack anything. Okay, not pack. You just inhale normally and hold your breath a while and hit it. Okay? And that will give you a um, we call by um, detoxify. Okay? Because the vibration of it will go through. So um, you go through quite deep. Is um, it should it go can go into at least about two three inches, three or at three to six inches. Here, yeah? that the vibration will go deep into the body, penetrate to it. Now it's very uh, very interesting that the way they discover the the way of hitting, you get enough vibrations but not hurt yourself. That's it. So that is the way of spreading up in. They have wooden, they have a, a, a solid wood, and they have using come out as a, a, a bridge or stone or some other thing. And this is the most advanced than those now. By using wood, using solid wood, can get hurt. Actually, can get hurt in that way. And um, so the vibration go in to the organs, and it broke the fallen material. And that is one good about it. It can block, shake broken the fallen material. The real cell and everything being revitalized with the vibrations. And it don't hurt. Some of you maybe don't believe it, but it don't hurt much. Of broken down the sick cell or the, detox, the, the polluted cell to shake loose of it. But the real one is not loose. But the one that hang on or polluted inside, it break loose and it come out. Okay? And that is what the... Um, now, when you hit to the kidney, really light. And hit to the stomach, really light. Okay? And that will help the kidney detoxify more thing out. If you hit hurt too much and you're hurting, you, you're not going to get benefit out of it. The second method of hitting is the um, pack. When you put it up, you pack and you are aware of that area and you hit it, you generate the chi and the bounding. So we call the golden bell. Okay, the golden bell. So when people hit you, it bow out. Or you hit on something, it bow you out. Like you have a big bell, you hit, boom, you hear that, it vibrating you, you know. You cannot stand in a very big bell near them because the vibration of the big bell is so, so loud. And it can actually uh, hurting you if you're getting too near of that kind of big bell. We're going to start to awakening the Tan Tian. The Tan Tian is below the navel, here, a small one. So we hit about three to six times. You inhale, normally no packing, just hit it. Okay, I show you and we, we do. And after that, rest, aware of it, feel the energy activate. And we hit the, the dog line on the back here three times. Rest. Resting periods is important. Rest and feel the energy activating the area. And now, the next is the back of the knee, which accumulate a lot of toxic. Usually I do a six times. You, know? you can do three to six times. And this will broken a lot of toxic in there between the joints. That's where the people get arthritis and problems. And rest, feel the energy. And the elbow. Rest, feel the energy. So all these are major joints opening. And you feel the, the joint opening. 
Okay. And the net will always start with the nail uh, on the uh, abdominal. The straight line all the way down and all the way up. When you come to the stomach, keep down this way. So you hold like this. Inhale a little bit. This is detoxifying. Coming up. Okay. Inhale a little bit. You hit down, you hit up, you back to the navel and feel a line open. Second line on the side also. And rest. Feel a line open. And the third line on here. Do the other side also. And do the other side. Rest. When you rest, you swallow the saliva to the area to help enhance that opening of the area. Okay? And uh, when you hit in this abdominal area, mostly you have the organ. You have the like when you hit on the, all this line is the last intestine, small intestine, and the uh, stomach and the liver in here. Okay. The important part is because of the um, of you split them out so you don't get it, but they get the vibration inside there. Okay. Now uh, we're going to do the rib case. The rib case is important part that we don't hit directly. We hit according to the rib case this way. And you inhale a little bit and just not too much. Okay. For ladies, you should aware avoid your your breast. Okay. That is your don't don't hit on your whole breast. So if you if your breast is too low, you have to open this way and hit it this way. And you come up, hit this way. When you hit this is the rib case. You try to hit. Don't hit this way. <laughs> hit this way, according to according to the rib case. Uh, when you hit on the rib case, there are bad, a lot of things happen because you are vibrating the. Don't, don't hit there. Okay. Because you are vibrating the, uh, the 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 bone to producing more marrow, and it detoxify the bone also. Okay. So try not away, uh, avoid the breath. Okay? <coughs> so you just move up and down whatever you want to hit. Okay? So we start on the lower rib here. So just mostly on the tip of it. Mostly on the tip of it, hitting this way. Hold the, the, the bitter angle down. Hold the bitter angle down. Hit it from here. Hit it. Rip it by rip it, and coming up, finally come up with the sternum. Press to your rip it open, and the chest open and the lung open. Okay. Uh, the resting period, think the bone quite right, and and if you have anything, uh, exhale out in a gray color way. 